Hey beautiful people, it's your girl Camille Sache back with another video and your favorite real estate agent right here in North Carolina. Right now I am on my way to the office. There is a training for open houses and how to just have a really, really successful open house. So if you guys know me, if you watch my vlogs, you already know that I love doing open houses. It's a great way to meet potential buyers that will soon be looking. And also a good way to start getting familiar with the different neighborhoods that are in the area. So I love doing open houses. So I am going to that training to get some insight, get some tidbits, get some advice from other people. I always like learning from others. There's there's never too much to know. Like there's always something that you can learn from somebody else. So I'm about to be at the Keller Williams South Park office for a quick training there. And I'll see you guys when I get to the office. And we don't really show buyers homes because if you show buyers homes, you never get to sell them. It's really not what we do for a living. But most consumers think we show homes and write offers because we use that word show a lot. But we actually don't show houses, we sell them a house. Or we decide if it's not the house for them and then go sell them another house. But we don't show people houses. They can go see houses on their own. So that's just kind of a mindset. So we do not show people the house. You're there to host. So people are gonna walk in, it's an open house. So people are gonna walk in and they can view it all on their own. What we do need to make sure we do is that our goal is to sell it at the open house. That is the goal. So if you plan on selling it at the open house, you do need to know about the house. So you do have to find out about the house. So that's absolutely what we do. The other thing that we absolutely do at open house is we set an appointment, set an appointment, set an appointment. The goal of every lead gen activity is to set appointments. We set appointments. What do we do with lead gen activity? Set appointments. We set appointments, we set appointments, we set appointments. So to set yourself up for the open house, you have to understand what your intention is of actually going to the open house and, and hosting. The intention of the open house is two things. I gave you both of them. What? Why are we doing open houses? Set appointments. Mm -hmm. To sell it? And set appointments. Or to set an appointment. It is lead generation. But the two reasons why your goal is to build your skill level on open houses is because when you go do them, you're going to sell it or set, and or set an appointment. So. First thing is, is mindset. Before the open house, get ready for the game. Get your head in the game, not the day of the open house. I have to scrounge around, I gotta do all these things. We have to understand why we do it, what we're gonna do, and what we're gonna get from it when we go do it. If we don't do that, then we're gonna do a bunch of open houses and never get any business. Then you're gonna be another one of the many agents that walk around here and they're like, well, open houses don't work. Well, then why, do, why are there so many of them that work? What is the purpose of them? For you to act busy? <laughs> because that's, if that's all we're gonna do, they don't work. So we're like, oh, I don't have open house till one o'clock on Saturday, so I have the rest of my week to act busy, so I don't need to worry about my open house till Saturday at one, and that's not true. The goal is to prepare before the Nice to meet you, Jeremy. What brings you to the open house today, Jeremy? That's great, I love that. So uh, where do you currently live, Jeremy? I live right up the road in Rankin. Oh, so you know the area? I do. How, right. how long have you been for? About three years. Three years. So you're you're thinking about becoming a homeowner, huh? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Would it be your first time becoming a homeowner? Uh, yes. That is so exciting. Wow, what a big step. What a big step. So are you originally from here, Jeremy? No. Where are you from? Uh, Vermont. Wow. Well, lucky for you, I know where that is. <laughs> okay. So that's great. But from what I, I see on the map, that's a pretty small state. Yeah. Yeah. And this is vastly different yeah. than that, right? Mm -hmm. So what have you loved about our great city since you've been here? Uh, there's stuff to do. <laughs> there's stuff to do. So is it fair to say there's not a lot to do in Vermont? Uh, no, no, no. Not after 8 o'clock. Yeah. But they have great syrup. <laughs> Very maple syrup. Too. Maple syrup is good. And if you love the snow, right? And cows. And cows. So oh, okay. Cows. So syrup and cows. <laughs> I like it. I like it, Jeremy. Awesome. So tell me, uh, when, if I could ask, when is your lease up on your rental? Here in the area? Um, end of the year. End of the year. So we're coming up? Yeah. We're coming up at the end of the year. So is a goal you have by the time that lease is up at the end of the year to be in your first home by then? Yes. Is that your goal? Okay. All right. So we it's a little bit of a challenge, but everything's possible. Anything's possible. So we have about 60 days to get you into a new home. 
Um, that's exciting. Have you looked at any other houses with realtors besides this one? No. No. Say yes. Say yes. So this. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Um, so how long have you been looking with other realtors for homes? I call Zillow um, every other weekend. Oh wow. That's. And how long have you How long have you been doing that? Uh, about two months. Now. Okay. Um, and since you're in this open house, I, I, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask. Um, seems like you haven't hired an agent to exclusively represent your best interest yet. I haven't found one worth hiring. Great. Okay. So if I could ask, what uh, what are you looking for in the agent that you hired, Jeremy? Well, um, he knows the market, um, who can um, teach me about it in an easy way, not in a complicated way. And mm, I like that. actually cares about my needs. So. That's important because this is a really big decision and you're investing thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars into the real estate market here in Charlotte. So I think, I agree with you. I think those things are all, all really, really important. Um, and those are things you should definitely be thinking about. You seem very smart. I like to work with smart people, Jerry. Thank you, I try. So I would love the opportunity to work with you exclusively, but I know we've just met. So why don't we do this? Why don't you take a look around this open house? Let me know what boxes it checks and what boxes it doesn't for you so I can get a better idea of your style and what you're looking for. And let me know if you can imagine yourself living in this house. Okay. And then will you circle back with me and give me your thoughts? Yep. Awesome, Jeremy. I'll look forward to you when you circle back. All right. Okay, thanks. What did you think of the house? Loved it. Yeah. What did you love about? Uh, the master bedroom. I could see myself in that. You could. Um, and I like that um, the secondary bedroom is on the other side of the house. So um, when my daughter's sleeping, I, you know, I won't wake her up. Oh, you have a daughter? I do. What's her name? Elise. Oh, what a cute name. How old is she? She's almost six. She's almost six. Wow, that takes me back. Wow. That definitely takes me back for sure. Um, so yeah, I think it is important to have, I agree, I think it's very valuable even for resale since you're going to be a first-time investor to have a split floor plan. So that's always a better idea to have the master on a separate side of the house than the secondary bedroom. So that's awesome. Um, so let me ask you on a scale of one to five since you've already looked at homes, five being you're ready to put in an offer. How would you rank this house here? I'd say it's a four. Wow, that's, that's pretty high up there. Yeah. So would there be any reason that would you would not put an offer on this house today, Jeremy? I've never done it before. You've never done it? What's a good reason? Yeah. It's a pretty good reason. The good news is I'm here, and I have done it before, right? Good for you and good for me, right? So I would love the opportunity after I get off this open house at four to meet you back at this house and talk about what it would look like to put an offer in on this house. Okay. Would you do that? Would you come back and meet me back here at 4.30? Sure. Okay, great. So what's the best phone number uh, for you, Jeremy? 704-604-6584. Uh, okay, and I can get your last name? Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And my name is Tara Higgins. I just sent you my contact info. I just got that. And I look forward to seeing you back here at 4.30. Sounds good. All right, great. I'll see you then. All right. Awesome. So what? That train was literally so good. Like, it was the very best. Now, I am on my way. I need to run by the post office. And then I'm going to meet a client later at this apartment complex. He is looking to rent. So I am going to show that property. And then I'm pretty much calling it a day. I'm going to go get my kid. And then it's going to be a wrap. It's going to be a wrap, guys. I um, am actually headed home. I've already picked up my son. And I actually showed that home that was available for rent earlier today. But when we got inside, because on the MLS, right, it said a one bedroom, one bath, like a little bit over 600 square feet of space. Like the photos look really nice. But, and this was also my first time meeting the uh, client in person. So when we got inside of the house, come to find out the home was actually a studio apartment. So there was no bedroom. So we were both looking like, mm, yeah, no, this is not gonna work. <laughs> he was like, I have a king bed and a sectional and the layout just, it wasn't working. like. So, we will continue to look <laughs> because that apartment, studio apartment, just wasn't a good fit. So, after that, I got some Mo's. Mo's. It's kind of like Chipotle, 
I don't know, depending on where you are, like what kind of location you are, you may not have a most, but it's kind of like Chipotle, like Tex-Mex, rice, lettuce, pick your protein, cheese, tomato, all of that. So I ordered my bowl, I ordered like a chicken bowl. And when I tell y'all, I bit into that bowl and it was so good. It was so good, but, 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 the rice, the rice was so hard like it was the rice was hard it felt like i was eating rocks like nibbling on rocks with my lettuce my tomato cheese queso all of that like it was so hard and i really tried like i probably took at least 10 to 12 bites like because I was just gonna try to, you know, just down it, and I was like still eating it inside. I was gonna try to down that food, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I had to go back up there and let them know that the rice is hard. It was getting stuck to my teeth because it was like gritty or something. Like I can explain it, but it was just hard. Like you know when like they don't cook the rice fully through so it's not like fluffy it's still like it's grainy that's how it was but everything else was like great it was high it like it, it was so good but it was like that grainy texture and it was getting stuck to my teeth and hard and I was like can y'all make me another bowl so they made me another bowl and the second bowl was subpar so then I had to get one for my husband to go because yeah I'm full I'm not cooking dinner he can have what I have and we gonna call it a day. But yeah, I was like, nah, nah, this, this bowl ain't hitting it with that hard rice now. <laughs> but anyways, I am on my way home. Uh, it's pretty much the end of my day as far as it goes for some real estate. So I'm probably gonna go home, clean up a little bit, love on my husband, love on my son, love on my family, and call it a night. And then tomorrow, I have a showing, a virtual showing schedule at 12 o'clock in Mooresville, which is probably 25 to 30 minutes from Charlotte. And then I'm gonna go into the office and pretty much fin finish out my day print out my MLS sheets for some schedules that I got, um, some showings that I got going on on this Saturday. And that's that's gonna be it. Tomorrow's gonna be a heavy lead generation day. I need to follow up with leads and try to get some new leads. And that's, and whatever else come my way. I don't know. You never know with real estate. You, you never know. So, I will check in with you guys in the morning when I get the day going and I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. <laughs> Good morning loves. I just finished dropping off my son. My showing got canceled for 12 o'clock today because the home went under contract. So if you wait too long, you won't be having no home. You won't even have the opportunity. So you definitely have to be ready, willing, and able to submit your offer when the right home comes up because otherwise you'll miss it. So I'm actually headed back home. I'm gonna have a very chill, light work from home day, do some lead generation. That's gonna be my primary. Thing. I have a few appointments that I need to set for Sunday and yeah, we're chilling. I do have a few errands that I need to run, but like nothing crazy.